what it is, YouTube. It's your boy, Nitsi, coming back with another bulls. I have a tutorial here today on the channel. So I wanted to show y'all today how I like to use transformers to add a little bit of size and also presence to lead vocals specifically, a couple different ways I like to use it. So if y'all do like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, you know, check the links down below to support the channel. And uh, let's get to it right now. Let's listen to this really dope song I was working on. So great when a homie change screaming, let's go gang us. Baby, you the crow crow. We straight run a check up, ay, get clean. Ay, 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 baby, you the crow crow. Homie, yeah, go ahead, get it, gang. Rock with him. Everything simple, babe, over here. And I ain't got a trip, cuz. Baby, you the crow crow. Baby, you the crew. Shawty ain't just anybody. If you ain't in the loop, if you ain't really new, then I'ma tell you what to do. We'll play it cool. Walking with the juice and blow the ceiling off the roof. Ride like a day one do, ayy. Slide when I say come through. What? So great when I home. Yeah, so you guys got an idea of this really dope song right here that we mixed in. Man, this is what gotta be one of my most favorite songs of the year, bro. It just, it just snap. It sounds so mainstream, uh, in my opinion. Okay, so the very first thing I wanted to talk about is, is his actual vocal because he's got a singing type of vocal. You know, usually when people are singing, it's kind of hard for them to generate like low end energy. You know, in general, when, when somebody sings, it's kind of like, ah, you know, you hitting notes, you go, you're kind of going upwards in the spectrum, you know. So that's the thing about it. His voice is like in the situation where I wanted to feel really strong. I wanted to really feel like, a, you know, like a scarecrow in the field where it's like, boom, it's just rooted into the ground. So I went to using something like Transformers. So let's think about Transformers, bro. When I think about Transformers, the very first thing I think about is that Neve 1073, you know, back in the days you know a lot of the analog hardware had transformers that was giving you know stacking transformer on top of transformer maybe the microphone preamp had a transformer you feel me maybe also the uh the tape machine as well used to have tubes and transformers in it too depending on what tape machine also the compressor the hardware compressor they was tracking into it probably had a transformer if it was like a la3a those got transformers a tube tech cl1b that got a transformer i think a la2a also has a, a transformer on the amplification circuit so that's really dope transformers contribute to that sound they contribute to that presence in that weight of uh, you know a vocal right and then also what kind of messed up my head a little bit is when I actually got the Neve 542s. I used to have a pair of Neve 542s. I don't have them anymore. I sold them because I, I didn't personally think it was worth it for the price. But with the Neve 542s, though, I remember on the Neve 542s, it had the blue um, transformer and it had the red transformer. And that kind of blew my mind, right? Because transformers also affect the high end, which is something I never, I never ever thought of. I thought transformers only affect the bottom end. So you know, like on the Neve 542, the red transformer is bright and the blue transformer is smooth. You feel me? Type of situation. So that brings us back to the vocal. You know, understanding transformers. I use something like a uh, a Saturn II on the lead vocal to actually, you know, kind of like round out the vocal a little bit and give it a little bit of presence. So this is a dope way. I like to use transformers on that Saturn II. You know, you got a combination of three different types of transformers. And I picked the, the subtle one and drove it a little bit. So great when a homie change screaming, let's go gang us. Baby, you the crow crow. We straight run a check up, ay, get clean. Ay, 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 baby, you the crow crow. Homie, yeah, go ahead, get it, gang. Rock with him. Everything simple, babe, over here. And I ain't got a trick, cuz. Baby, you the crow crow. Baby, you the crew. Shawty ain't just anybody if you ain't in the loop. If you ain't really new, then I'ma tell you what to do. We'll play it cool. Walking with. So, what I'm kind of trying to do with the, the transform here uh, specifically is I'm pushing a little bit of uh, the high end drive. You feel me? And the low end is it's just kind of like the same. Um, but most importantly, it's kind of make, making it feel like it fits into the track a little bit more, using the, the transformer to kind of smooth out the top end specifically and add a little bit of presence to the vocals. Because without it, it kind of sounds like the vocal is on top of the on top of the beat. You feel me? Because it is a two track beat, so I'm trying to blend it in. Uh, so that's why I, I use specifically the Saturn II because it has a way of kind of just like really smoothing out, kind of giving a chill pill, giving a little bit of massage to the lead vocal, and that's why I'm using this specific type of transformer. So let's look at that real quick. Hey, baby, you the crow crow. Homie, yeah. Go ahead, get it, gang. Rock with him. Everything simple, babe. Over here. And I ain't got a trick, cuz. Baby, you the crow crow. Baby, you the crew. Shawty ain't just anybody. If you ain't in the loop, if you ain't really new, then I'ma tell you what to do. We'll play it cool. Walking with the juice and blow the ceiling off the roof. 
and I like the Transformers too because they kind of it kind of feel like it kind of like deharshes the vocal. Uh, another thing I was trying to do too, right? With the next transformer I use, I use a True Iron Transformer, bro. You feel me? And this is a really dope plug, and it got like a bunch of transformer emulations in it. And I use this preset vocal polish. You feel me? Vocal polish. You feel me? A little, a little polish, a little bit of grease. You feel me? Like the spit shining in the shoes. You feel me? So I use a little bit of a, a vocal polish on on my parallel chain. So even when you do like a parallel vocal, you could you could th throw some things in there to spice it up. Throw like a tape saturator or whatever, whatever on your parallel vocal chain. So I had the um 1176 AE and even like 1176s. They have transformers in there. That will produce a warm sound. So this vocal, we going for like a mainstream Tory Lane sound, but the lead vocal got to be warm because as you can hear, my delay in my reverb is very bright. So I'm kind of doing that on purpose, comparing contrast. We straight screaming, let's go gang, cause baby you the crew crew. We straight run a check up, hey, get clean. Hey, hey, baby you the crew crew. Hold me up, go ahead, get it gang. So as you can hear, purposely, on purpose, you feel me? The effects, like the reverb, the delay, all that stuff like that is really bright and super glittery and everything like that. Like you a jet in school, you got all this glitter and sparkles, like sparkly shoes, you feel me? Like the step, the shoes that you used to step in and it was sparkle type shit like that. So that's kind of like the sound I'm going for with the effects. So I'm trying to give a little bit of uh, compare and contrast. My lead vocal is going to be warm. My effects going to be sparkly, you feel me, type shit. And, uh, you know, the transformer really helped on the parallel channel. So let's look at that vocal polish real fast. We straight screaming, let's go gang, cause baby you the crew crew We straight run a check up, hey, get clean Hey, 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 baby you the crew crew Hold me up, go ahead, get it gang Rock with him, everything simple, babe, over here And I ain't got a trip, cause baby you the crew crew Baby you the crew, shawty ain't just anybody If you ain't in the loop, if you ain't really new, then I'ma So yeah, just picking out the transforming emulation I like Then I pushed a little bit of that crunch too I think that adds like a little bit of like kind of like a transformer distortion type of thingy uh and i click the morph that makes like the transformer get overdriven type type of situation so that's a really dope plugin using the true iron on using that vocal polish and of course to get that mainstream brightness too i went with transformer brightness like like i'm telling you i learned that from the knee 542s when i had the hardware like oh damn like this transformer is not only making the mix have a bigger low end but it's also the fact that the transformer the red transformer the silk red transformer it like it used to make my vocals in my whole mix brighter so i learned that from analog hardware and brought that over to the plugin so you don't need no damn hardware to get it you just got to learn what it sound like and you kind of like copy and paste it over to get them vocals to be like really de harsh too bro cuz you know i did the um brightness with the transformer like i clip gain down every single goddamn s t p c so it's like my vocals are just getting super bright you feel me when i when i bring down the s's and stuff like that manually it's like the vocals start getting super bright i can make them even brighter because i'm literally going in there and i'm taking down literally every single harsh word like i'm like a freaking a uh, defensive lineman i'm sacking the quarterback i'm just going after every single harsh word every t and s is like a quarterback to me that i'm trying to i'm trying to knock down you feel me so you know that's what we did there too and the last thing i want to talk about is transformers on the master fader like um using something like a, a, a understanding like what wh wh what plugins even got a transformer in it like the 670 bruh like I'm, I'm paying attention to my two try i feel like that low end was not thumping hard enough like how it was thumping in the rough mix because they had whatever on they you feel me rough mix master fader so that 670, you feel me? That 670 has tubes and transformers in it. And you, I like to use a situation where it's like, I'm just letting it run through. You feel me? I'm just letting it walk on by like it's at the airport and it's going right through the security. You feel me? With no check. You feel me? Then after that, I like to use the um, combination of that EQP1A, which is Pultec got transformers in it too. The original Pultec got three transformers. And then this, this one right here too got transformers in it too. So them transformers was bringing body to the whole mix overall is making the two track thump harder so great when a homie change screaming let's go gang cuz baby you the crew crew we straight run a check up hey get clean hey 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 baby you the crew crew homie up go ahead get it gang rock with him everything simple babe over here and i ain't got a trip cuz baby you the crew crew baby you the crew shawty ain't just anybody if you ain't in the loop if you ain't really new, then I'ma tell you what to do. We'll play it cool. Walking with the juice and blow the So that that in itself kind of like helps out the mid-range a lot. You feel me? And uh I do like to go in there with that fat filter and do like uh, like two to three notches, you know, kind of like where the vocal and the two-track beat is overlapping. That kind of like cleans up the mid-range. That's that was my first EQ move. Then I used the transformer after to bring back in the mid-range. You feel me? And I used the pull tech too. 
and that pull tech got a got a little low mid uh transformer two boost kind of going on but let's let's check this out so great when a homie change screaming let's go gang cuz baby you the crew crew we straight run a check up hey get clean hey hey baby you the crew crew homie up go ahead get it gang rock with him everything simple babe over here and I ain't got a trip cause Baby, you the crew, crew Baby, you the crew Shawty ain't just anybody If you ain't in the loop If you ain't really new Then I'ma tell you what to do We'll play it cool Walk And then kind of like the last thing that I'm doing right here Is like a little bit of dirty gain You feel me? So I'm not just gonna like actually, you know Make the whole mix louder Using like my master fader or I, I usually have like a master fader right here too To push my mix into the whole, you know, mastering chain that I create, but I did not use that. That would be clean gain. So on purpose, I use the pull tech and the pull tech has a, like a level boost to it. Like I, as soon as you pull it up, it boosts the whole thing by like two DB, three DB. So that's like dirty gain. You feel me? That's not clean gain. Like what you would get from your dog. I'm using dirty gain on my whole master freighter. That transformer is going to juice up and thicken up that oatmeal. You feel me? With that right wrist and that spoon and that bowl. So I'm using that EQP one a to give me a whole lot of weight in the low end. So great when a homie change screaming, let's go gang Cause baby you the crew crew We straight run a check up ace get clean Ay 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 baby you the crew crew Homie up uh, go ahead get it gang Rock with him Everything simple babe over here And I ain't got a trip cause Baby you the crew crew Baby you the crew Shawty ain't just anybody if you ain't in the loop If you ain't really new then I'ma tell you what to do We'll play it cool Walking with the juice and blow the ceiling off the roof so yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video here today. I just wanted to show you guys a couple ways that first I like to use transformers on my master fader to like juice up the whole mix and everything like that, which is like the EQP1A and the Fairchild. I showed y'all today how I like to use uh, transformers also on my lead vocal to kind of like warm it up a little bit and provide a contrast against the pretty like Tory Lane sparkly reverb, sparkly delay type of effects I had. And then uh, another thing I showed y'all today is I wanted to show you how I like to add a little bit of a transformer on top of my parallel vocal chain to give a little bit of that vocal polish you feel me a little bit of brightness so i just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family don't forget to like comment and subscribe if y'all do enjoy this video also down below check the links to support the channel i really do appreciate y'all now youtube gang peace